Boom. Warbands is the best feature that is coming in the War Within. Change my mind. There's a lot of people out there that don't understand why so many people are freaking out over the warband system, including people like me who've been playing this game since 2005. Over all these years playing World of Warcraft, players have been fighting tooth and nail for a warband-like system to be put into this game. And it True. is shocking that it has taken Blizzard this long to finally listen and to respond to this and finally give us... Okay, <laughs> let's just stop for a second. First of all, Shout out to the channel sponsor, Zygor, linked down below in the description. It's going to be World of Warcraft's ultimate add-on for the War Within, and if you decide to get the add-on, use code Nixium for 20% off your subscription. Anyway, so this video is going to be a little bit of a rant video, so just be prepared. I'm just going to kind of geek out for a second, and it's, it's going to be good. Let's talk about, first and foremost, the big issues that this warband system is attacking directly. Okay, here we go. This is issue number one. One big issue that has affected World of Warcraft for all these years, all MMOs, to be fair, MMORPGs are absolutely massive time sinks, especially yeah. if you are somebody that you want to play multiple characters. Maybe just playing that mage ain't doing it for you. Maybe you also want to play as Nixium, the freaking Death Knight. I don't know. The point is, if you're playing multiple characters on an MMO, Oh my goodness, man, like the sheer amount of grinding and time commitment and everything that is required to play multiple characters at once is insane. This leads to the second issue that War... For example, right now, I kind of want to level up more classes in Cataclysm while we're, I'm leveling with the guild and all that kind of stuff so I can have options what to play. And I'm afraid to do that because I know that uh, even if I manage to level up all of them, I'm not going to be able to play with all of them and it's just, just gonna be a lot of time just wasted or bands are addressing and it's just simply the fact that you know if you decide one day hey you know what i'm gonna re-roll and level up a shaman in the barons well guess what you have to redo all the same quests yeah. all the same dungeons all the same everything that you've already done once already on your main character and like yeah like you get this is the reason I'm not going so fast about the leveling because I know whenever I reach level 80, I need to start doing these dungeons that are in Cataclysm again. And I have done them on two characters already to level them up. If the dungeons are not enough, I have to do the quests again. Oh man. Do it all again and that's cool, but there's no like benefit to doing it all again. It just seems like a big chore that you have to burn through as fast as True. possible. You know that Garrosh shows up during the Stone Talon Mountain quest line in Cataclysm. You know about the Alexstrasza versus Thunder Dragon fight in Dragonflight. You know about the Wrathgate event. If you decide to level in Wrath of the Lich King, you know all of this stuff. And you're just doing it all again, just trying to burn through it as fast as possible. There's no additional reward for doing so. And this leads to the third thing that this warband system's attacking and it's this feeling and i know that you've felt it because i've felt it over all these years plenty of times where you play in your main character you're playing your little nixium by the way i guess this is a little nixium figurine and you want to play that mage okay so you're playing your little mage you know you're leveling up your alchemy you're doing whatever but the thing is as you're playing that alt you know that level 32 mage you're probably sitting there thinking in the back of your mind sometimes man all this time that I am investing on this alt, I could have been investing on my main and I could have been doing yeah. stuff that was more important and that actually mattered on my main instead of wasting time on this alt. I could have been making more money. I could have been farming more mounts. Oh, I could have dude. been doing a mythic dungeon. Yeah, I could have been raiding. Totally. I could have been doing an arena. But here I am leveling a mage in the barrens or in like Thousand Needles or something in the Cataclysm time walking, you know, and it's frustrating so here's what players have wanted from world of warcraft for years this is what people have been asking for since the very beginning very simple account wide progression you play one character and you dude the most important thing that the pinnacle of the annoying things that are happening in world of warcraft is you're having your main and your main has done everything your main has done every heroic raid 25 men geared out of his mind done every pvp thing done every reputation juiced up maximum juiced up dripping juice out of his ass you make an out and none of this progression just 
is valid. I think in the past few years in retail, whenever you do the reputation things, they get shared, but uh, you get no actual benefit. This is the most frustrating thing is, yeah, you have spent a lot of time on your main, but dude, I'm not gonna spend another 100 hours on my second character or on my third character or on my fourth character. It's just insane. When you get an achievement, that achievement is for all characters. Mounts are for all characters, transmogs, pets, reputation, so on and so forth. And we've gotten some of this, to be fair, over the years. You know, like little little bits of it here and there, but he never it. the full package. We've also especially been asking for easier ways to move gear and gold and profession yeah. supplies between characters. Because going to a freaking mailbox every single time and typing in the name of the character and all that. Like, yeah, it's... I mean, it doesn't take that long, but it's it could be so much easier. Just make exactly. a freaking bank tab that exactly. all of our characters share. Like, wouldn't that be so much simpler? Well, guess what? That's exactly what we're getting in the War Within. Let's talk about what we're getting in Warbands. Let's geek Let's out see. for one second. Here we go. Let's go down the list. Number one, all of our characters, they're now going to be connected. Cross-faction, cross-subscription, and cross-realm. However, they are not going to be cross-region. Yes. So if you're someone like me that has both a US and an EU World of Warcraft account, I'm currently playing mostly EU at the moment, that's not going to be cross-whatever in the Warband system. So, But I know that I'm part of a minority of World of Warcraft players in that. But, you know, yes, you are. And guess what? Your, your cross-faction, cross-realm, cross-subscription characters, now they are going to share everything. Mounts, pets, looms, yes. transmogs, reputation. Guys, everything is shared across the warband. Amazing. This includes all the new reputations that are coming in the war within. So you don't have to level up an alt and go out and restart with getting like some, yeah. new, you know, earthen dwarf reputation and starting at level one and working your way up. Forget about all that crap. No, man. The warband now collects the reputation as a whole. That's nice. awesome. I mentioned a second ago transmog. Yeah, another thing I wanted to say is that I will, I'm always conscious whenever I'm doing certain reputation, I'm always conscious. Should I not do this reputation with this other character because it's going to be more optimal? Thank God there. Appearance is being shared. That's right. Fixing you that. unlock transmogs on one character, they are unlocked across all your characters. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong here, I'm pretty sure Blizzard also said that in the War Within, if, like, let's say you unlock some plate shoulder pads, you can use that transmog on any character in your warband, including, like, a cloth wearer. So you could be, like, a mage running around wearing plate armor. I'm pretty sure Blizzard said that. But there's this nagging thought as I'm recording this video that maybe that's wrong. So let me know in the comment section below if I'm just spit out a bunch of false information. Anyway, let's keep going down the list. You'll have shared flight paths between your characters. You still nice. have to explore the map on new characters though, just because going out and exploring a new area of the world grants you experience points like on a new character. However, Blizzard did say that if they like if you don't want to do this, they are going to implement a toy in the game, which just makes it so that if you play an alt, you can use the toy and then everything that the warband has explored in the world instantly becomes explored to you. You just won't get that experience for walking in the zones and or like new places. So uh, that's optional, though, if you want to use that. Here's one of the best parts, though. Okay. Every time that Reasonable. you complete a quest for the very first time with your warband in the war within, you are going to get a bonus reward. However, if you do the same quest again, all right, let's say, all right, I'm leveling up an alt. I'm going through some of the new zones in the War Within, whatever, doing it all over again, same damn quests. Well, guess what? By doing the quest again on a different character, you will get additional rewards for doing so. Nice. It's like a new currency specifically for your warband that you can use to redeem for pets, mounts, cosmetics, other rewards. And that's awesome. It makes it feel like it's worth it to go and level up a new character other yes. than just get another character to max level. Achievements that you get, they are earned for everybody in your warband. And I mentioned earlier at the beginning of this video that Blizzard should have just implemented a stupid freaking bank tab that all of our characters share that we can just easily, you know, withdraw. I think they're doing that. Whatever. Well, guess what? It's coming in the war within. 
you get this brand new bank tab. You can now put gear in there, which is called Warbound until equipped. So you can just send that piece of gear to any character you want in the Warband. All your profession stuff you can put in here that can be accessed by like your crafting alts and stuff. It's it's exactly what we've been asking for for all these years. Thank you very much, Blizzard. And the last thing I talked about this in my previous video, five things that, you know, were announced with the War Within or were revealed with this expansion that really like blew my mind like I loved it. The simple fact that in the War Within, you have these background screens where you can see your war band yeah. standing, you know, like maybe in like a in a field at a campsite, whatever. Blizzard has said that over time, they are going to create a system where in game you can unlock more of these backgrounds for your war band nice. on the screen. I think that's so cool. It's such an evergreen feature. You could have a background set in, I don't know, like Zulamon or something if you're a troll character or Ice Crown Glacier if you're a death knight and you want to go with like a cool like undead theme for your warband. I think that's amazing. The reason why the warband system is just so special to me and to many other people is just the fact that this is something that we've been asking for for a very long time. Those of us that are altaholics, those of us that are not altaholics, I mean, like the warband system is. Blizzard are actually listening to fans sometimes. Sometimes they're listening to fans and they're just. They're letting the fans cry, cry, cry about it, cry about it, cry about it. And after 20 years, they're like, Do you remember when they cried about this? I think we should finally give it to them. Something that, like, it, it, it kind of like when you look at it as a whole you just ask why hasn't blizzard implemented this already you know why have they not <laughs> why, implemented man? something like this <laughs> to make their game less of a massive time sink to make leveling alts more enjoyable to create better replayability in the game to make it feel like you're not wasting your time by leveling up a character instead of playing your main like why hasn't blizzard implemented this yet over the years i don't, I don't know. know but all i know is this I think that the Warband system is one of the best features coming out in the War Within, other than the Delve. But I'll geek out about Delves another time once I get to play it, because maybe it'll just end up being some old booty. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. You haven't played it yet. You know, we're going to find out. We're going to see. We're going to geek out together, or we're going to be pissed off together. It's going to be <laughs> fantastic. Hey guys, I hope that you're excited for the War Within. I'm excited for the War Within. We'll see how it is. And uh, stay tuned for more videos, because I certainly... I'm excited actually for War Within to be fair with you. This is the reason why when I'm offline I'm sometimes I'm going into retail and I'm leveling my uh, hunter. Yeah, I'm excited for War Within. I'm really want to go into retail and give it a go and see what is going to happen, you know. We'll see.